Today, we're riding up in Manchester, Connecticut on the trails in Case Mountain Park. This was the first day the weather really warmed up, and after a few days of dreary, rainy weather, me, my bike, and nature were all very happy for the sun to be out. The park itself is massive, with 640 acres of land, and the nearly 12-mile loop we tackled today barely scratches the surface for what this place has to offer. You must be prepared to work to get back to the car. We climbed nearly 1,000 feet of elevation, which, for our neck of the woods, is nothing to sneeze at. And because of the sheer size of the park, and the fact that there are little to no trail markings, I highly recommend you go with someone who knows the trails, or get yourself a good GPS-enabled map to follow. Today's ride is a little special because it's the middle of the day on Friday. And I know what you're thinking, but yes, my friend and I are both gainfully employed. We were just able to make some time to get out in the woods. You do it? I'll never forget that time was coming through here, hitting my brake, and I got shocked through my brake because of the static in the air. I literally was getting electrocuted through my brake lever. How are you? I swear to God, yeah. True story. It was very humid that day, and I could hear the power lines crackling above me as I rode under them. I guess that's one way to force yourself to get off the brakes, but I wouldn't recommend it. Right now we're on the Tinty Trail, which twists and turns as you climb until you hit this rock roller, which begins a fun, fast downhill. Right down the middle. Towards me, there you go. Oh, I missed it. That's one way of doing it. Yeah, but I saw the rock shaft. Yeah, that's all right. Nice. From here, we ride a few more connector trails alongside and across this beautiful stream up to the reservoir. After taking in the views, we decided to play around a little with the GoPro and try recording with the helmet mount. And that's when we discovered this new trail. According to Strava, it's called Tossed Salad, and as we would soon find out the hard way, we were looking at the exit. That's what we've never done that one. Yeah, okay, that looks good. You want to go explore for a little bit? Sure. I'll spare you the boring climb footage, but next time we ride Case, we will definitely ride this trail in the downhill direction. Okay, downhill was short-lived. As luck would have it, we actually found two new trails this ride. <laughs> Taking tossed salad backwards dropped us off at the trailhead for dingleberries. Again, these names are coming from Strava, so they could be totally made up. Names aside, we did seem to hit this trail in the downhill direction, which made for a much more enjoyable experience. At this point, we're just about halfway through our ride, and about to begin the climb back to the car. Rather than continue to give you a play-by-play, -play, let's just take a look at some of the highlights. Look at the swing!
you rat bastard. Yeah, that was a lot of climbing at the end. Thanks for checking out the trails in Case Mountain with us today. If you like what I'm doing, I'd love if you hit subscribe. Either way, now it's your turn. Get out there and ride.